Are you a Fusion 360 user? Do you use a probe on your machine tool, but you still lack the manufacturing add-on for Fusion 360, and you'd still like to use the probe a little bit further than just setting up work offsets? When we come over to the inspection tab of Fusion 360 under manufacturing, we'll notice that all the inspection ones require that add-on. Using the one probing option we have, let's set the work piece center. When setting up for the work piece, I always choose stock. That way it will offset for the amount of stock that I have on the work piece. I always choose to do Z before I choose to do X and Y, personal preference. With the work offset set, we will do a contour path around the bottom of this part in order to establish the size. I'm going to select a 10 millimeter end mill because this will be able to cut this in one path. The important parts of this is I must turn the compensation type to in the control and my lead in must be larger than half the radius of the tool. Quick look at the part, path, and it's a very straightforward path. Next, let's go back to inspection and choose probe WCS once again. Selecting our probe. Instead of selecting stock, we're going to select model, and we're going to choose two surfaces from which to select. This will now probe the actual size of the part. From here, we're going to just post out this single path in order to show what we need to do to this in order to change the setting of work offset to adjusting the tool or just setting a macro variable. So with that path and the only path selected, I will select post process, and then I'll give it a name other than the full program name. And I'll have the program open in an NC editor immediately. The control on this machine is an LNC controller. If you're using a Fanuc or a Haas controller, what you'll see here is going to be slightly different. It will be a G65 P9000 program. All these characters and arguments past that will be very similar from machine to machine. To alter this cycle from setting a workpiece to measuring or inspecting, we're simply going to make a comment out of the S, the S being the work offset that's being set. Here, we're going to add an M00 to stop the machine and look at the variables after the cycle. At the machine, we'll go to the wear offsets of the tool page. Under the wear of the radius, we'll add in a small amount for the probe to compensate wear. Depending on the control you have, the variables and programs may be slightly different. With the Fanuc control running the Rihanna Shaw Inspection Plus, this is the list of the variables and what they do. On the Haas control, the program calls are all the same, but the variables are an additional 50 variables from where they would be on the Fanuc. On the LNC control that I'm using, the variable numbers are identical to what you find on the Fanuc control. The difference being is the at sign versus the pound sign to address the variable. Also, on this control, not all the programs exist and not all the variables get set the same as they would be on a Fanuc or a Haas machine. 
On the element C control, I do have the ability to look at the individual values of the variables as the program does run. Here, I'm going to page down until I get to about 135, 136 in order to view the macros as the program runs. Looking at the table for our variables, we see that variable 138 is the measured size of the part. The deviation for a wide error is stored in 141. The total size deviation from nominal is stored in 143. And the radial offset of that is going to be in 146. Using a set of digital calipers for reference, we'll take a quick measurement of the size to confirm that the probe is reading what our part is. On Haas controls as well as Pinup controls, we can move down to the line for measuring and simply add a T code to this line. This will adjust the radial offset of the tool based off the inspection. For those that are running an LNC control, the best option is to manually edit the wear offset based off the variable table that we just looked at. Once the radius of the tool offset has been updated, we simply rerun the path in order to establish the size that we expect from the cutting tool. 